Happy Halloween from Coffee and Tools. Hmm. Let's do wheels today. Wow, howdy folks, and uh, hey, hang with me today. I've got something here that's on sale. It's on a fire sale for the next like seven days. And even without the fire sale, it's a good price. But uh, when I saw the fire sale this morning and the tool just came in today, I thought, man, we gotta take a look at this thing quick because this is on sale and Christmas and all that's coming and birthday gifts and whatever. If you know somebody that's in the woodworking and you wanna buy them a gift, this might be the item. Great price and great features, but let's get the box open. Let's get a look at it. It's a pocket hole joint kit from uh, the gang over there at Enjoy Wood, which we just did their laser a few weeks ago. They do different tools. And also, it's off the website from Banggood's, banggood.com. Uh, and I will be providing links for all this stuff when we get done. But right now, we gotta get this open. Let's get a look at it and see what we get for our, right now, it's on sale for, I think I was, I saw it. $69. Whoa, you boom. You know, yeah. If you want a good pocket hole joint kit and you don't like to pay the big premium prices of some of the other guys, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> we won't mention any names. This might be for you. Okay, so we got you close up. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get this box open. Let's get this party started. <laughs> yeah. So oh, a box within a box. Okay. There will be a slight delay. <laughs> All right, where, here we go. Enjoy wood, like I said. But uh, Banggood does a great uh, deal on a lot of woodworking stuff. Here's the pocket joint kit right here. But let's, there's more to it than this, so let's get it all out so we can see all what comes in the box, right? And let's get this plastic out of here. This is uh, a tool that I use a lot. I really do. And, okay, so we got it all nice and packed and foam. You get a nice uh, pocket hole jig uh, with a manual. So we get some writing there. Get off the top. Oh, she's pretty. Oh man. Oh yeah. Wow. This thing is. Oh, this thing is nice. Let's see if we can get her out of here. Get her. Come on out, baby. Let's let's see you. Let the folks at home see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just lost the drill bit. Oh, no biggie. Yeah, it comes with accessories, of course, but. The first thing I notice immediately is this right through here and right through here is metal, which you know is, is a good and bad thing, of course, but you also got a little socket here you can hook up to for vacuuming out the uh, sawdust, whatever. You've got a full scale here for the thickness of your wood so you can set the thickness type you're gonna be putting together when you're using pocket hole jigs, of course. And it also has, uh, and let's cut this tape. You know, for the price alone, I think this is just an absolutely a terrific deal. Now, we've got, oh, ha, ha, we got screws. I was wondering about that. I really was. I, I didn't know whether they actually include some screws with their kit or not, but they do. Okay, so they give you a basic example of some, looks like, uh, let's see, coarse threads. So that will be uh, softwood type screws. Yeah. Some of the different screws. We all know where we can uh, buy the screws over there at Lowe's if we need more screws than, you know, obviously than what's in this kit. But uh, And then here's the collar ring for locking the uh, drill bit up. Uh, so go find the drill bit, it's on the floor. So now the final the final piece of the puzzle here. <laughs> yeah, just don't cut yourself with a knife. I haven't done that yet. And this is Halloween, so you might see blood on this show today. No, I don't. Th I hope not. <laughs> okay, we've got the screwdriver bit and the drill bit. So we've got two pieces in here. Oh man, everything's tight and nicely uh, uh, kind of lubed up with some oil in order to help keep everything fresh. But look at that drill bit too. That is nice. Man, they, I tell you, the gang over there, they, they seem to, you know, sort of go out of their way to do a nice job. Square head, or Robertson, number two, is what that really actually is, but uh, the other pocket hole joint companies also use the same screw, so, you know, you can buy their screws and still drive them with this baby right here. Look at the drill bit. That, that is a nice, uh, that's a nice looking drill bit. Yeah, it is. Anyway, this is metal, so it's a little different the way they've got this set up. You've got a collar up here as you come down with your uh, driver. If you're not familiar with pocket screws, 
then we have to get a piece of wood in here and show you how to drill a pocket hole. So let's do a pocket hole jig on a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Oh, by the way, before I forget too, uh, this one comes with pre-drilled holes here and here. So this can be mounted permanently to a, like, you know, a bench or a piece of wood or something that you want to, if you want to work with it, uh, also, because at that point you can clamp it down. You can make this thing as portable as you want. Also, this, this can be removed and used in here as a portable setup jig for when you're doing pocket holes. I really like this way of doing it, but yeah, you know. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wood, and what we want to do in the when we're done is we want this piece of wood to screw into, say, this piece of wood, and we want you know these two to join like this, and we want a good strong connection. So to get that, what we're going to do is actually do a pocket hole. So let's do a pocket hole. So I've already set this at three quarters of an inch. So when I lock it it's a three-quarter so to, so using the collar up against this and up to the scale you're going to set how deep this is going to go but you're also going to use their again whether it's half inch wood three-quarter inch one inch whatever it is you're going to use that scale to tell you how you know deep this is going to go now uh, right now we're not set right so I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to punch it up and I'm going to take the step part of the drill to three-quarters of an inch and I'm going to lock it. Now there's an easy there's an easy cheat here, so I'm going to show you some cheats with this stuff. First thing to do is when you do that is to take this down through after that and put the collar down in there, and you can see where the screw is going to finish out, and you can see where this is going to finish out. And there's a three quarter inch piece of plywood, so you can see you're well into the back of the three quarter inch plywood. This is not even hitting this, so you know that that setting should be pretty much give you a good pocket hole joint at that point. And so we're ready to go. Now, we're going to use a drill. So a great feature with this particular one is it'll actually fit one of these normally. But just for fun, we're going to use the, uh, yeah, the impact gun here and just drill it through. Now, what did that do? Well, let's take a look. So we now have a beautifully angled in cut to where we can drive a screw which will come right out through the end of here. So if we were, say, going to make a joint here like this, uh, let's make sure we get that in the center of the screen so you can see it. Uh, let's even do it on an angle. Or, yeah, let's put the whole thing on an angle. That way you can see, see it really good. Because there's a number of folks that probably have not seen these before. So the next situation, or the next problem you're gonna have, is you're gonna want a screw that's long enough, but not too long. And so to do that, I thought they had a scale or something here that would help you with that, but I don't see it. Yeah, but generally what I do is a lot of times I'll, I'll you know, check where the screw f finishes out here and make sure I don't have too much screw going down into the lumber below. So I'm going to uh, drive a screw now, and we're just going to set this up like this and drive a screw into it. There we go. Wow, that's tight. That is super tight because that's an impact type gun. So, yeah, that's really strong. But this is an, you know, really for pocket joint, that is a really good, strong connection. So, if you're building cabinets or doing kitchen cabinet or shelving or anything along that line, uh, these are great. Now, there's a secret thing I have done in the past that I shouldn't tell anybody about, but I have done it where if you're going into hardwood or heavy wood and use a long screw, you can do this underneath a shelf and you can screw these right into the wall kind of thing and have like a sh like a, almost like a floating shelf because it looks like there's nothing holding it because you don't have anything underneath. They're strong enough for uh, things that are okay, not too heavy. If the shelf's going to be carrying something heavy, I would recommend, you know, an L bracket or something obviously that's going to brace the lumber. But uh, pocket joint hides everything nicely and you have this like floating shelf kind of effect. So that's how to do a simple pocket. Now the features are just well, there's just quite a few of them. There's a lot of good heavy metal right here in the construction, which I really like. Also, they have these nice brass knobs, so you can adjust this for, you know, when you're setting up for the various type of, you know, thickness of wood that you're going to be, you know, running into. Now, there's uh, also uh, this this portable one here, which is really nice because uh, if you don't want to use this rig, you can do it portably using this setup here, putting this in here to set it up portably. I'll see if I can get some 
uh, pictures posted of the different uh, arrangements you can, you can have with this. And also, of course, you have the dust collection, which as you can see, just from the sawdust alone from that one drill, <laughs> I've got quite a bit of sawdust, of course. All of that, yeah, for the uh, fire sale right now for like $69, I thought I'll have to rush this video on and tell everybody about it right away because this is something that is a deal for, I think it's the next seven or eight days and then the sale is over. Plus, of course, the stuff seems to sell off. It sells out sometimes where they're just out of stock at that point. But uh, comes with a nice set of instructions. Now there's different models. This one here just so happens to be the, I believe it's the LK4 or no, <laughs> the XK4, excuse me. The XK4 Pro comes with some more accessories, but uh, right now, this is, this is a terrific tool, and it's from Banggood, which, you know, like I said, they, they do carry a lot of different wood tools at really good prices. So if you're looking to save a few dollars, but buy, you know, stuff like this sort of thing, this is a good place to look for it. Or if you're doing gifts or anything like that, this is a place to look for wood tool or specialty tools and scientific tools even. They carry a lot of stuff. They have a pretty good website and very good prices. I have purchased off the site before just to see how long it took to get delivery and it was within a few weeks I had had the item. So, you know, really no complaint there because I'm saving a lot of money and getting a tool that I'm paying less than half for, you know, so I'm like happy, happy, happy. Yeah, so what a great tool for great price. I gotta thank banggood.com again for sending this over today so we could have a look at it and uh, share it with you guys because you know, it's one of those tools that, like I said, I love having it and I use it a lot, but I hate to pay the big prices they charge for some of this stuff. And this one here is at a great sale price, you know, yeah. Also, uh, one other thing I want to mention before I forget, because uh, I keep doing that, is uh, in here is a, a screw selection in the manual and it'll show you the size or length of screws you should be using for the different thicknesses of lumber when you're doing a pocket hole. Cool. So that's, uh, that's just another one of those things, yes. And also, uh, like I said, there's uh, shorter ones that you can get than, than this uh, over at the big box store. Uh, <clears throat> I won't say whose name or what under that that is, but we all know, we all pretty much. If you, if you know Pocket Hole at all, you'll know who we're talking about. And they have more screws, of course, if you need them. Meantime, I gotta get out of here. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. And thank you so much for watching. Congratulations, Mike, from last week for winning the laser. Next week, uh, let's see, November 24th, we're giving away the Laser Master 3 or Tour. So if you need to get in on that, you need to watch the episode that was right before this one. <laughs> so you can get your name in on that contest. Yes. Meantime, I'm out of here. <laughs> Over and out.